Now, last but not least, we want to determine the influence line for the internal moment at D. And so what that means is we want to redraw the structure with the action removed. And in that case, that means that having no moment, but being able to transfer shear and axial force across point D, which is really a hinge. So I'm going to throw in a hinge at point D. And then introducing the unit rotation that would be associated with this internal moment. And again, here, the positive sign convention is important. So the positive sign convention for internal moment that we normally use, or that I have normally used, is so that when I make a cut and I look at the moments on the inside, any moment that causes compression at the top and tension at the bottom is considered a positive moment. And so here at point D, what we're going to do is draw our moments as if this is a cut, and we're going to say our rotations have to match the directions of the positive internal moment. And notice again, because we have an unstable structure by introducing this hinge, we're going to have a bunch of rigid body movements. And this rigid body movements, or at least these rotations, what it means is that segment AD, if this were segment AD, and I apply this unit rotation, going counterclockwise, I'm going to have a deformed shape that looks like this, assuming there are no boundary conditions. But now, since I have a boundary condition at A, meaning that point A is pinned and cannot move up and down, I'm going to have to adjust this drawing, or at least essentially move it up, so that point A remains zero for deflected shape. And so what I'm going to have is a deflected shape of segment AD that looks like this. Yes. And here, segment DBC is going to rotate clockwise, but I have to make sure point B remains grounded or has zero displacement, which means the whole thing just kind of rotates up together. And I have to pass, make sure that the deflected shape passes through point B. Yes. And what we want to do is find these magnitudes that are associated with, let's say, this distance here, this vertical distance, I'll call that y1, and this vertical distance, I'll call that y2. Now, the unit rotation, what that means is that if I were able to continue this segment AD, the relative rotation between segment AD and the rest of the beam, this angle right here has a value theta equal to 1. I don't necessarily know what this angle is here, but I'll call this theta A, this theta B. And I know from geometry that theta A plus theta B is equal to 1. So what we're going to do is calculate these magnitudes y1 and y2 straight up from geometry. Again, you could always apply the concentrated load right here at this point D, you know, just to the left of it or just to the right of it, and then use statics and calculate the internal moment at point D, and that'll give you a first point. And if that makes you more comfortable having a first point and doing the rest of the geometry out, shoot, that's as good as doing it this way. But because we're going to do this by geometry, we notice that theta A is related to this length and this height. And using small angle assumptions, we know that theta A is equal to y1 over 7.5 meters. And theta B is also y1 over 7.5 meters. And so if I substitute those into this relationship, y1 is equal to 3.75 meters. And then using this information, I can calculate y2, really based on similar triangles, because this angle here is also theta b. And so by similar triangles, I can say that y1 over 7.5 meters is equal to y2 over 7.5 meters, which tells me that y1 equals y2, and y2 is also 3.75 meters. And now all I gotta do is redraw the influence line on a nice graph and that will be it. So here's my position axis and now I just need to draw the influence line magnitudes. And there is my influence line for the internal moment at D. And notice this multiplier, or this influence line graph, is in units of meters. All right, well, that's it for my second influence line example. Hopefully, it was helpful and insightful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Take it easy. See ya.